Hey, yo, what's up, what's up, guys? Zaid here with another episode of Zaid's Experience. Today is going to be another episode of The Coffee Run. Yes, guys, this has been a long time coming. It's been a while since I've done one of these, but I'm up here in Mammoth Mountain, California, and I just so happen to find some bomb coffee spots. So come with me, and let's check these spots out. So the dynamic of this place is super interesting. So when I first got here, I thought it was just a regular old coffee shop. But when I came in here, I realized that they sell wine and beer as well. It's kind of cool. I know sometimes, well, a lot of times, I'm in the mood for coffee, but um, whenever I do want that beer or maybe a glass of wine, because I do drink wine, as shinobi as that may sound, I, I do like my wine, so I'm pretty happy with that. I think they have some really good merchandise. It actually looks pretty cool. They have those little skulls just about on everything, and it looks good. Uh, a lot of the times, a lot of people don't know how to market their stuff, and even though they, have, they may have a bomb product, their logo just doesn't give it that extra pop that it needs. <coughs> Ah, I'm losing my voice that their logo doesn't give them their extra that extra pop that they may need and These little skulls are very simple, but I think they get the job done pretty well as far as the coffee goes I really love the coffee at least the one that they were using right now I believe the girl that was working at the register. She told me that right now. They're using the Ethiopian I really liked it. It usually I'm um, more used to a little bit of a darker roast Cafe Moto, um, which is kind of my home base to where I like to drink coffee all the time. They use a little bit of a darker roast, actually quite a bit of a darker roast. And I think it works awesome with their, the, the way they have their setup and everything. But for this particular coffee shop, I think this works well. So I always like to get a Cortado. It always gives me a pretty good idea of what they're serving. So yeah. It's a very fruity, but well balanced. It's not overpowering fruity um, to the point where you kind of wish you were prepared for it. I know that I've tried some coffee that sometimes I try and if nobody gives me a heads up, hey, it's gonna be super fruity. It's like, ugh, like it just hits you in your face. And it's not the best experience, I would say. <laughs> as cliche as that may sound on this channel. But yeah, it's not the best experience at all. But this one, it's just there. It's precisely at where it's acceptable and where it's not bad either. It's, it's actually pretty good. I think the way that they have their setup really complements the drink that they're serving or the drinks that they're serving. I also like the way that they have their setup here. It's actually three stories. Um, the first story is big tables, you know, where, they're, where they serve everything basically. And then the second story is just, they have a place where they actually roast their coffee. So apparently the girl told me that if you come on a Monday morning or sometimes early in the morning, they might be just roasting the coffee in front of everybody. So you can see here in the second story that they have all that open to the public, which is pretty cool. A lot of the times, well, almost all of the times they have their, all of their stuff in the back. And so it's kind of nice that they allow people to see how the process takes place. Maybe have a glass of wine if it's uh, not too early for you in the morning, since they do do it in the morning and check out how the whole process gets done and all of that. So that should be a pretty bomb thing to watch. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to catch that, 
but I'm super happy that I was actually able to come in. I let a couple of people know, hey, I'm gonna be recording, and they were super awesome about it. I know in some spots I've gotten the, the face of like, mm, why are you recording this? Why are you, it's like, basically I just wanna tell people about your spot. That's basically all I wanna do. And as always, I think I'm gonna get a couple of souvenirs, so I'm gonna check that out right now. I think I might be taking this Ethiopian or something a little bit darker because I like my dark coffee in the morning. A darker roast, I think it just works well. Just like on that Pete's Coffee video, by the way, if you haven't seen that one, I'll leave a link to it up here. If you haven't seen that, um, that's one of my second favorite places in San Diego. And in coffee terms, that is saying a lot. So if you wanna go ahead and check it out, I'll leave a cart up here, guys. They have a really bomb roast. I believe it's like the Christmas blend or something like that. That in particular, that roast is actually just, it's, it's awesome. I can drink that at any time of the day, but I really like a darker roast early in the morning and something like this in the afternoon. This is perfect. This is a perfect pick me up in the afternoon. So if you guys are ever up here in Mammoth, California, Black Velvet Coffee, guys, definitely go ahead and check them out. Super, super worth it. I think I'm gonna just get another one. Who am I kidding me? I'm definitely getting another one. Bye, have a good day. So that was totally worth it. <laughs> Got my coffee here, my mug, and my like bi-weekly supply of coffee. <laughs> but in any case, guys, Zay out. Peace.